Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ask Amber and today I'm going to show you the easiest way to weight paint clothes onto your model. This technique really makes avatar creation, especially in Blender, so much easier and saves a ton of time on weight painting. So I have my model here in Blender. Now I started with a nude model and I added the clothing on top of it. This clothing I made custom so it has no rigging, no weight painting, no bones, no nothing. If you're starting with a nude model, that's great. You can just add the clothing on top and weight paint. But if you don't have a nude model, that's also okay. You just add the clothing on top of the clothing that is already there and then delete the clothing after you've weight painted. I imported my clothing as custom OBJs and so I need to parent it to my armature. I'm gonna start with weight painted the shorts. So I'm gonna drag it up to my armature, hold shift and drop it so that it parents it to the armature and then I'm ready to start weight painting. Then with the object I'm about to weight paint selected, I'm going to click on Object Data Properties, which is this little triangle symbol, and I'm going to delete all vertex groups associated with that object. Then I'm going to click on the Modifier tab, I'm going to click the drop down, and I'm going to add a Data Transfer modifier. If the object that you're trying to weight paint already has an armature modifier on there, delete that modifier before adding the Data Transfer modifier. Your armature modifier will be reapplied when you fix your model later on. I'm going to click this little eyedropper tool for the source and click anywhere on the body because I'm going to use the body as my source. If you don't have a nude model and you're using a body with clothing, make sure that your body and clothing are joined so you can use them together as the source. Then I just click this checkbox called vertex data because that's the data I'm going to be using and I click on vertex groups and then generate data layers. Once that's done, I just click apply and now it's time for me to fix my model. Now I like to fix the model twice because I don't know if this is just me or it's a blender glitch, but for some reason one click doesn't work. So fix your model twice everyone, just to be safe. Then I'm going to smooth out my weight paint. So I'm going to go into weight paint mode and I'm going to click on all the different bones, which should be weight painted. And I'm just going to take my smooth tool and just smooth it out a little bit. One little tip that I have found after doing this a bunch of times is that if you smooth it too much and you do it too differently from the auto-generated weight paint, you're still going to get some clipping of the body underneath. So do it with caution and only if it needs doing. You can test if it looks okay with your pose mode and if it does then you can just leave it. But I like to smooth mine out because it kind of gives a cleaner look. Just be cautious with your smooth tool guys. And the good news is it's really easy to fix if you mess up. You can always go back and re-delete all of the vertex groups and then do the auto weight painting all over again. It's really just a couple clicks and if you mess up pretty bad, it's an easy way to fix it. Another way to easily fix a mess up with this technique is to go into pose mode and move your avatar into position. And then all you have to do is while in pose mode like this, go straight into object mode and it'll leave your pose in place so then you can go back in and weight paint and select the bones and kind of fix the mess ups which if you're using this technique there probably won't be very many of those mess ups. Then as a final step just go back into pose mode check that everything works and you're good to go. Your object is weight painted. Now I'm just going to quickly run through the steps again on my bustier. I parent my bustier to my armature, I add a modifier for data transfer, I select the source as body, I click vertex data, vertex group, and generate data layers, then I click apply, and then I fix my model twice, then head into pose mode to see how it turned out. And guys, this one worked so well that I'm not even going to smooth anything, I'm just going to leave it as is because it is pretty perfect the way that it is. And that's it, my whole top is weight painted with just a few clicks. And yep, it really is that simple. Now, if you guys want to buy the Unity package for this model, she's available on my Gumroad, or you can just visit my website and go to the For Sale page. I also have a model available every month for my Patreon subscribers, so if you'd like to become a patron, for $10 a month, you get a full Unity package, access to my Nitro Assets channel and Discord, as well as two custom FBX assets every single month. These are the assets for June 2020, so if you're interested, stop over at my Patreon and sign up so you can get access to these Unity packages and FBX assets every month. All the links for everything that I've mentioned here are listed in the description below, so check that out. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate each and every one of you, and I'll see you in the next one.